and welcome to the final day of the 14 day photography challenge. So today we're going to talk about pre-focus. So when something's happening in the picture we don't always have time to focus correctly. So if you're anticipating something coming into your picture that you want to take a picture of, what you need to do here is to guess where your subject might be and focus on that point. So that means when your subject comes into the frame or the picture that you're taking, that you have a much better chance of that subject being in focus. So this can only work well if you're anticipating something coming into your picture. So this leads nicely onto my next tip, which is to wait for things to come into your frame. So to use example, maybe you're taking a picture of a, a nice landscape and you see a bird coming. You might want to set up your picture first with the landscape looking all nice, the exposures right, and then wait for your bird to come into your picture before taking it. This allows you to be more purposeful about the elements that you're arranging in your picture. You can also use this for taking pictures of moving objects or moving subjects. So for example, if you want to take a picture of somebody riding a bike, you might choose a place where the background looks lovely and wait for them to come into the frame. Then you can pre-focus on an area that you think they might come into and this gives you a much better chance of you getting the focus right on them. So to show you an example, here's an image that I've taken of Need pushing Lyra. Now this was for the movement challenge so I've deliberately put some blur into this image which makes it difficult uh, to see if they're in focus but they are actually in focus here. So what I've done here is I've set up the shot and you know what I Jess in the left hand side of the image here. So actually Sam is just out of shot here telling Jess to stay where she is. I have pre-focused on the ground in front of me uh, where I knew that Neve was going to be walking into. Now I've used a very narrow aperture here so quite a lot of the scene is in focus so it's difficult to see um, where the focus is in the image but the image is in focus it's just that I put some motion blur in here. So I want you to use your challenge to bring all these things into practice. So your final challenge for today is self-portrait. Now don't be scared off by this one I know a lot of people don't like taking their own picture but this is exactly why you should be doing it. So for your self-portrait, I want you to see that you've thought about your background, composition and your lighting. Use the pre-focusing technique we've talked about to get your focus right and use the self-timer to give yourself enough time to get into the picture. This doesn't have to be a picture of your face, it could be a picture of your hands, it could be you in silhouette, it could be a portrait of you or it could be a very close-up uh, portrait of you if you don't want to have your, all of your face in the picture. Good luck with your final challenge. I really hope you've enjoyed this and please let me know how you get on. Thank you very much for joining me and goodbye.